This is gonna sound a little weird, but let's talk about the tiniest and horniest snipers in the galaxy. These tiny barefooted individuals are known as ratlings. And for lack of better words, they're basically hobbits with sniper rifles. Despite their tiny size, humans and ratlings share a common ancestor. They're part of a group collectively known as abhumans. This group includes species like the ogren, the dwarf-like squats, and even beastmen, just to name a few. The ratlings actually make for amazing snipers. It's a commonly held belief by members of the Astra Militarum that even the worst of them can score a headshot from over a kilometer away. These guys are also incredibly stealthy, meaning the ratlings are absolute experts at infiltration and assassination. In battle, it's not uncommon for a group of ratlings to start picking off targets so quickly that the enemy believes they're under a full-scale assault from a much larger force. And if their enemies manage to close in on their position, the ratlings are able to slink away undetected and set up in a new location to continue their onslaught. The ratlings have a reputation for being pretty promiscuous. It's a commonly held belief that on their home planet, they're basically just eating, drinking, and banging all the time. Their hedonistic home life is in pretty stark contrast for how they are on the battlefield. Whether or not this is true or just rumors that humans have spread about them is kind of unclear, as abhumans tend to face an enormous amount of prejudice from mankind, as they're seen as mutants. And the whole suffer not the mutant to live thing is kind of a big deal in the Imperium. Now, some abhumans like the ratlings are tolerated, but that doesn't change the fact that they still have to deal with a lot of crap for being what they are. Now, obviously not all humans feel this way, and having a well-trained sniper as your friend in the Astra Militarum definitely goes a long way. And the Rattlings are actually pretty clever, and their sniping abilities are pretty much only second to their thieving skills. The Rattlings are able to get you pretty much anything you want, and considering how guardsmen normally have to go without, having a friend that can get you something as simple as chem sticks or extra rations tends to go a long way. And individuals that get on their bad side may end up finding themselves with less ammunition than they thought they had in the next battle. These guys are pretty mischievous and are well known for not having respect for authority, which is something that can definitely get under a commissar's skin. To keep themselves from ending up on the firing line, the Rattlings tend to do two things. The first is that they're unbelievably talented chefs, and they're able to prepare some pretty insane meals from very simple ingredients. And though it's a misconception that the guard only eat rations, the food they're given is normally pretty boring. So having some Rattlings in your platoon or on your ship is definitely good for morale. The second thing they do is using what is known as a fixer. A fixer is basically an incredibly charismatic Rattling. They're basically individuals that have mastered social situations and act as a voice piece for their brothers and sisters. Now, at first, the group they speak for is just other Rattlings, but as their reputation grows, they normally end up folding humans into their group as well and keeping them under their protection. A fixer is basically a Rattling that gets stuff done. Not only can they use their black market connections to pretty much get anything any of them want, but they're able to use their social status to keep their crew safe. And that protection goes a long way when your crew is setting up gambling rings and stealing all the time. And although they get a lot of crap, Rattlings are definitely a pretty cool and interesting part of the Astra Militarum.